two months has been for Dogecoin. I could have not possibly imagined it. Um, yeah, Dogecoin hit one cent back around January, reaching its uh, almost its 2017, 2018 highs. But since then, it's gone up far, far more to levels that previously have only been dreamed of. So it's reached five cents, six cents, then suddenly made another big jump up to the 20, 30 cent level. And as of most recently, it's went past that up to over 70 cents. And so as you can see now, its market cap within just about half a year has gone from usually the, the 1 billion or so that it's held steady to for the overwhelming portion of its history since 2013 and has now reached over 83 billion. In fact, if we look at it, Dogecoin is now one of the top four cryptocurrencies. It's beat the famous other crypt, alt, uh, alternative cryptos, Ripple, Cardano, Polkadot, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and etc. And so I think it's worth remembering for this that Dogecoin, until re really recently, just the past two or three months, even with all cryptos going up, including Dogecoin, it still hovered really in the lower, I mean, still not like a completely obscure crypto, but definitely not a major player crypto. However, now not only does it have a lot of money involved in it, but has a lot of popular interest, a lot of celebrity interest, etc. And I think that, uh, yeah, the often talked about dream of Dogecoin reaching $1, and note this was back when it usually was about half a cent per Dogecoin, now no longer seems like complete fantasy, it actually seems realistic. I will warn that at these levels, we don't know what Dogecoin's behavior is exactly going to be like. It has never ventured into these heights before. I think that the cryptocurrency still is seeing rapid and very uncertain development. We are seeing many more uh, companies, etc., join on board Dogecoin. They're taking it uh, for payments. They're starting to build infrastructure for it. We see some companies beginning to engage in mining for it, to engage in creating mining machines for Dogecoin and Litecoin. And so for those unaware, Dogecoin is inherently linked in many ways to Litecoin. And so Litecoin kind of was the original uh, dream that Dogecoin now seems to be fulfilling. So Litecoin is a very quick uh, lightning cryptocurrency meant to transmit quickly. It is still quite big. It's still recently passed its all-time high back in 2017, 2018. And now is uh, almost $350 per Litecoin. However, Dogecoin now seems to be really taking on that mantle of being a people's cryptocurrency. It is something that people relate to. It is something people find amusing and interesting. It's not so complicated like many other cryptocurrencies that people simply aren't able to understand how deeply technical the crypto's applications are. And so many of these cryptocurrencies are very interesting, but they are rather complex. I mean, they are part of this decentralized finance system that is growing. However, for retail users, they are simply extremely tough to comprehend. Oh yeah, side note, I see that Dogecoin derivatives, uh, not literal financial derivatives, but um, closely resembled cryptos are growing now too. We see the Shiba Inu coin is uh, suddenly climbing up there. Uh, it is at a very low amount. Um, but also its market cap is already quite significant. Um, and so I think with Dogecoin, what I like about Dogecoin especially is that it is meant to be a cryptocurrency for use. Uh, to hold on to Dogecoin is, um, I mean, recently, of course, it's been a great investment strategy, but the cryptocurrency is designed with inflation in mind, um, a steady as of the moment, 5 billion coins or so every year minted into circulation. This keeps the miners healthy. 
It keeps them active, keeps the crypto steadily depreciating, but not too quickly. It's not like any uh, particular party has control over issuance of said crypto, but nonetheless, it keeps this crypto mobile. So it's not like Bitcoin, which um, very soon is going to be increasingly tough and unprofitable to mine for, of course, unless the price keeps going up for the little bits of Bitcoin that are still left to be mined. Um, as you can see, there is, uh, is nearing the end of the Bitcoin mining capabilities. Um, of course, we don't know if someday Bitcoin will have its cap lifted, but at least for the moment, it seems we're soon reaching that end. Of course, it's, it increases in difficulty as we near that end, but nonetheless, as you can see, with Dogecoin, there is no cap. It keeps on growing every year, another $5 billion. Um, of course, as a percentage, that increasingly decreases as the new Dogecoin is issued. But nonetheless, it keeps it constantly moving, constantly active, constantly giving out new Dogecoin to new participants. Ethereum, of course, also has an unlimited cap. However, with Ethereum, it's very different from Dogecoin in that it is a major decentralized finance platform. Um, Dogecoin, one of the things that makes it distinct among all these coins is that it's simple. It doesn't have a lot of decentralized finance um, tokens and uh, applications on it like Ethereum does or uh, BNB does. Um, it is simply a straightforward transaction system, very uh, fundamental uh, attributes. Um, and unlike a lot of these cryptos, it's welcoming, it's interesting, it's fun. Of course, that does not necessarily mean uh, it is a amazing investment strategy, but nonetheless, I think it's a great way for many people to explore the world of crypto, to try to understand how it works, to learn about Dogecoin, learn about its functionality, its history, to use it actually, and to therefore increase the popularity of cryptocurrencies in general. And so I'm extremely excited to see where Dogecoin goes. And uh, of course, tonight, of course, to see Elon Musk and Miley Cyrus say whatever they have to say, potentially about Dogecoin as well, on Saturday Night Live.